Meet Kaylee and her doll that looks just like her, also named Kaylee. We got matching outfits and I love to match with my doll. And it makes me feel kind of cool because I have a friend just like me. We caught up with Kaylee Chang and her mother, Leanne Whalen Chang, at the American Girl Store in Tyson's Corner, Virginia. Kaylee is choosing final Christmas gifts she hopes to receive. After browsing a bit, she decides to take her doll to the store's doll hair salon. Did you want to get her clean head to toe? Sure. Sure? All right. The spa deluxe. Kaylee got her first American Girl doll just after she was born, and her collection has grown steadily ever since. Yeah. I have nine American Girl dolls all together because my mom's an awesome shopper. What I like about it is that it kind of brings back the innocence of the kids. They grow up too fast, and so the American Girl allows her to just be a little girl a little bit longer. American Girl sells dolls representing periods in American history, alongside books that tell each doll's story. This doll, Kit Kittredge, grew up in the 1930s during the Great Depression. Also for sale, we dolls that look just like your daughter, with accessories matching her interests. But it costs. The doll itself is $100. Add accessories to that and the bill can quickly add up. Shoppers here are not complaining. This granddaughter, grandmother, and mother shop together. I like the historical aspects and the, the quality of the products. We wanted to speak to girls who were 8, 9, 10 years old and say, whatever your passion is, whatever you're interested in right now, you know, hang on to that. Valerie Tripp has authored more than 30 American Girl books. She loves writing for 8-year-olds, she says, because most are reading independently for the first time. The ability to walk in somebody else's shoes is a wonderful life skill. And if you can read about someone who lived in a different time and kind of walk into her world, isn't that a wonderful way of, you know, learning? Kaylee Chang loves the books, but she doesn't think she'll buy the dolls for her daughters. I don't think I'm going to have daughters. I want to be single and a doctor, so. So the company may lose Kaylee but there are many other pint-sized customers right behind her. Laurel Booman, VOA News, Tyson's Corner, Virginia.